let's call upon the name of the Lord, that the hand of the Lord will be upon us. We will love one another. There will be trial. There will be temptation. The way you were brought up is not the way I was brought up. We come from different angle. We come from different family. We come from different area. We have different knowledge. But call upon the name of the Lord. That just because of the blood of Jesus Christ, you will have the grace to accommodate other people in the way of the Lord. Where there will be no be immorality, where the grace of the Lord will be sufficient, where the mighty hand of the Lord will be sufficient. You will be able to visit one another. You will be able to provide for one another when they do not have anything that will not let them survive spiritually. Anything that will disturb their spiritual growth, you will pray against it. You will not entertain it. You will visit them what they do not have and you have. You will provide for them. And you will continue to check yourself every day, every hour, every minute that what they call the grace of the Lord is it upon me. Am I obeying the word of the Lord? That is the grace of the Lord. Am I going in the way of the Lord? That is the grace of the Lord. Am I obeying the commandment of the Lord? That is the grace of the Lord. Am I obeying all what God said I should do and I shouldn't do, that is the grace of the Lord. Then, this evening, you need to call God into your heart. You need to tell him, Father, my God, my Redeemer, my Savior, this is what I don't want in my life. That I want your grace to talk to take away. The GS has blessed us with the grace. He said we should go in that mighty of grace, which is abundant than any other thing. So it is your turn. It is my turn to ask for the grace to able to act like a Christian so that wherever you are without even opening your mouth people will say this is a little Christ call upon the name of the Lord that you will be able to give your time like Priscilla and Akula, you will be able to give what you are to Almighty God, to worship Him. You will dedicate them to Him because He's the one that's giving it to you. He's just asking back that what, has given, what I have given to you, my son, my daughter, are you able to give them back to me? And I'm not asking for all what I've given to you. In fact, in your time, in your property, in whatsoever it is, if you can divide them into 10, you have 24 hours in a day, give me 10% of it. 
to read the word of the Lord, to visit other, to evangelize, to invite people to the church, to pray for one another that Almighty God is going to uphold them, to pray for families, to pray for each individual, what you have observed, and you want God to take away from them. Of your 24 hours per day, my son, my daughter, this is what I'm just asking for you. Give me two hours, 40 minutes. To read your Bible, to pray, to call other people, remind them, why, I, why we did not see you in the church today? To invite them to the church next Sunday. To visit them, to think, ask them, what do you need? What you don't have? How can I help you? That is what they call Christian brother and Christian sister. Pray upon the name of the Lord that the spirit of the Lord will fall upon you. To be like a Priscilla and Aquila. And you will worship, the people will worship in your house. And you will worship in your room. And you will invite people to the house of the Lord. What about that, your friend? What about that, your neighbors? What about that, your roommates? Have you told them about Jesus Christ? Have you told them about Jesus Christ? Have you invited them to the church? Are they coming to the church with you on Sunday? What are you doing? Many people you met on the road today. Did you talk to them about Christ? How do we want to know that you love them as a sinner? If you don't do it, who else will do it? My dear brother, my dear sister, then who is the angel of the Lord? Who is representing God, if not you? Call upon the name of the Lord. That God will help you. God will help me. And we will be a good ambassador of Almighty God in all our club house, in our apartment, in every area we find ourselves. And God will reveal himself to us. He will speak to us. He will talk to us. And he will recognize us. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's say amen. Amen. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name because of today's message about the Priscilla and Lacula. We thank you, Lord, because of our Father in the Lord you have used. Father, in a fresh way, in a fresh mood, we surrender our life unto you. We have been coming every Monday, every Sunday. Thursday, we meet together. Father, we pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to use us mightily in Jesus' name. And your grace is going to be sufficient for us. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's bring our tithe and offering. When we are praying, let us respect God, brother. The mentor, we are praying. Pray. Oh, sister, okay. Let God will help us in Jesus' name. I just want us to uh, let bring our titan. Okay. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of today. We thank you, Lord, because of the messages you have prayed to us. And the prayer we have prayed together. We thank you, Lord, because out of what you have given to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. Father, 
those people who have we who do not know how to give but we teach them in jesus name and those people who are giving by the power in the blood of jesus christ are have testimony let them have testimony too in jesus name surprise us with a new building with a van in the name of jesus christ and let your name be glorified thank you O lord because you are the lord that answer prayer in jesus name we pray please let's do all what you can do to be in the church on sunday let's invite many people as possible do not forget our assignment at least in a day uh, give to these two card to uh, at least two people and god will help us as we are doing so in jesus name i told you i'm not bothered just continue to keep it in your house keep it in your pockets but anywhere you are going give it to somebody give it to your worker give it to people in your clubhouse give it to people you meet in the market give them to your friends and then if do you have as many as much make it something in your house in the entrance of your house so that you can drop it there then people who are passing by that come to greet you they will pick it god will help us as we are doing so in jesus name let's share the grace together may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen thank you god bless you. god bless you please I think we we dismiss. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um yes. Please, I want something come to my mind. That like in fact any time we go to like Kruger or Food Lion or and you buy something from them and you want to leave, you can give them. Please I invite you to my church. You know that's the best way to do the evangelism. Anywhere you go, I invite you to my church. God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Goodness. <laughs>